hello folks welcome back to my channel for those of you who know me and who have been following my channel i started off with a few videos that had to do with traveling i didn't want this channel to be a really travel channel so it was just a few tips on to how to travel light and how to travel cheap here and there and now about I don't know one year plus with this uh, uh, pandemic and all the travel restrictions I thought it is time to do a bit of a reflection on to what traveling has become of late I will start by my own experience but wherever you are I think it is clear that traveling now has become first of all a pain in the backside it's really painful to travel these days it's quite a nightmare in some scenarios but also it is becoming pretty expensive at that moment so i was planning to travel i think in july last year and uh, that plan i had it since i would think march so when the lockdown started in march i thought we're gonna be there for two three months so by july it will be clear to go i booked in july didn't happen i thought september didn't happen i thought november didn't happen i thought january always it didn't happen and the reasons were multiple one reason was that there were no flights available with airlines that were joining the two cities i wanted to visit the second was that in some countries you have to be a citizen to be allowed entry. They were not allowing any visitors visa going in. The third was basically the quarantine. You have to go through a lot of hoops and the loops to go through to land into certain countries. And as I speak here in New Zealand at least, when you come in if you are ever allowed in or if you leave and come back at this at this stage you have to pay last time i checked it was about three thousand one hundred new zealand dollars i'm not gonna put that to convert in usd but you have to pay three thousand dollars new zealand dollars to stay in isolation for 14 days so you lose 14 days of your holiday if you were taking say a leave of work to do something or to travel but you also have to pay uh, to contribute towards the cost of that quarantine facility. 3000 last time I checked the news, I think they were taking, talking of raising that to over 5000 That's per individual. If it is a family, it's a little bit more than that. So the analysis I'm making now is that definitely traveling is becoming very difficult, has become very difficult impossible in some circumstances in that there is a lot of wastage of time you've got to quarantine in many countries i think canada has got the same regime many countries have got that then you have the expenses related to being quarantined because especially if you are a foreigner in that country you have to pay for your own quarantine facilities then you have got a time constraint many people around the world or at least in the west have got under four weeks or about four weeks of holiday annually so if you've got a four weeks you're not going to spend two weeks quarantined somewhere or the worst case scenario two weeks on one side on your destination two weeks when you come back you're not definitely going to take that holiday because it's going to be a waste of time but also unless it's something family related if you're going there for leisure what sort of leisure are you going to have when some countries have got lockdowns within the country where people are not free of movement hotel restaurants uh, many venues are not open etc etc so it is quite a futile activity to start with if you are just doing it for tourism purposes or leisure but most importantly what i'm saying is that expenses are going very um the flights are going very expensive at that time before corona i could go say to many part of asia for under a thousand new zealand dollars return at the moment it has gone way beyond that in many circumstances but it's particularly difficult to find the actual flight even if you had a visa and everything sorted out 
So my predictions are going forward. I think uh, it's going to be expensive to travel in terms of airfare, some requirement, having to do some swab tests or whatever COVID tests you have to do, uh, vaccination requirements, etc., etc. I hope and pray that the airline industry will be able to sort of recover quickly after an effective vaccine has been deployed in a, in a sort of a massive way and that it will still be affordable for the average Joe to travel. That's not something we take for granted. It has been so for the last, I don't know, 10 years or more where the average individual, particularly from the West, you could take $2,000 and take a trip to the next country or the next continent or on the cheap and come back and uh, enjoy their two to four weeks uh, of annual holidays. So that's my hope, but I'm crossing my fingers and I'm expecting that things will be a little bit tough. It is for the next five years, traveling has become once again the, the, the sort of commodity the sort of luxury that it used to be in the past and honestly there are a lot of uh, environmental activists that are advocating for travel and the tourism to be once again restrictive in their opinion or their analysis they believe that the less travel the better for the environment and most of the time to reduce demand, you have to increase the cost. So there have been such suggestions that they shouldn't allow any more of those uh, budget traveling around and that tourism should be controlled in a way that is not damaging to the environment. I'm not on either side of the environmental activists or their opponents. Uh, I'm just talking as a normal Joe who knows nothing about the environment and the science, but I'm just thinking it was good while it lasts to be able to grab a couple of thousand and go see a friend or just see a new city you've never seen it before. So that's all I have to say, guys. If you have got any comments, please put that down below. If you are still a digital nomad and you're still going around Asia, Eastern Europe or South America and you think it's still as breeze as it was pre-COVID, please let us know. And uh, that's all I wanted to say, really. I hope you guys liked the video. Please give, that, give it a thumb up and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And watch out for the next video. Thanks very much and peace.